when many Christians fall sick, they think it is normal. Because we live in this flesh, we are bound to fall sick. But it is abnormal for us to fall sick as true Christians. We should never fall sick because we walk in divine healing always. This sermon from Pastor Chris, he explains and teaches the church that it is never normal for Christians to fall sick. So if you fall sick today, it is never normal. Let us listen to this sermon as Pastor Chris teaches the church. God richly bless you. Why do many Christians get sick? Why are many weak in their spiritual life? Why are many weak in their faith? And why are many weak in their physical bodies? Why are many sickly? After you have become a Christian, you should never again be sick in your life. Now, that is the honest and truthful presentation of the Word of God. Because you have come to Christ. Christ is the answer. Christ is the home. You have arrived. When a man comes to Christ, he has arrived. He has come home. He has arrived. The struggle is over. But why is it that in spite of that reality, many are weak and sickly to the point that it has become like something that's normal. So many Christians don't even realize they ought not to be sick. They don't know that they're not supposed to be. They think sickness is normal. They think that if they have an infection that they can biologically explain or medically explain, scientifically explain, then it's okay. No. Jesus said something about the Christian. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe. He said, in my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. If they shall drink any deadly thing, whether they drink it through their mouth or through their veins, doesn't matter. If they shall drink any deadly thing, it shall have no power over them. Meaning they ought not to have any infection of any kind. They are a different breed. That's what the Bible says. Ye are a chosen generation. The word generation is the same thing for breed. You are a special breed. That's what he's saying. You are not ordinary. You are a special breed because you are a new creation, superior to the devil, superior to failure. You see that? Superior to sickness, superior to infirmities. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Then it says, a peculiar people. That means unique, one of a kind, a special kind. Then the Bible says, of his own will, James 1.18, of his own will, he begat us. He gave birth to us by the word of truth that we should be a species of first fruits. Of his creatures that means the first and the best the highest kind of God's creatures the first and the best now if you get sick how are you the best is that the best that God can do subject to the devil Subject to infirmities? Is that the best that God can do? Yet the Bible says you are the first, the topmost, and the best. Wow, what a wonderful sermon, family, from Pastor Chris. I know that this sermon has really been a blessing to you. Now, many, many things that Pastor Chris uh, said in this sermon, that is really, I believe, blue your mind and mine as well that one as christians we are not supposed to fall sick 
Ah, it is not normal for us to fall sick. And two, you see, we have come home. Jesus Christ is the answer. So if Jesus is the answer and we are now in Christ Jesus, then whatever, what do we need as Christians? That healing power is already ours. That success, that breakthrough is already ours. So the struggle is over. And I don't see why many Christians are weak and sickly. As Christians, healing is our portion. Wow, what a wonderful sermon by Pastor Chris once again. So we shouldn't forsake, we should walk in divine health always. Family, this is the end of our reaction. I say God richly bless you. Remember, I will meet you in the next video. Read the word of God, meditate on his word, pray, be in his presence, and everything is going to be okay. Click on any of the videos see on the screen. Any of the video is a different amount from Pastor Chris. That will really help you. So, I'll meet you, family. See you. Bye-bye.